I'm Matt Page and today I'm going to be riding a Cairn Brave e-bike and I've got a route that starts in Aberystwyth, finishes in Cardiff. It's a coast to coast ride, 190 kilometres, over 3,000 metres of climbing and I want to see how capable these e-bikes are. Today we're going to try and take on a challenge. We've got a route that is a mixture of road and off-road. The first section is fairly flat. So we've got about 40 kilometers where there's not too much climbing. And I'm hoping that I'm not gonna see too much reduction in the battery from that. Beyond that, we've got some really big mountains, say over 3000 meters of climbing. Can this do the distance? At the moment, when I turn this on, it's showing a range of 111 kilometers. So we're gonna try and push that so the main reason we've chosen this bike in particular is because of the big battery it's got. It's a 630 watt hour battery. This sort of challenge, you don't need a really high end bike with all the best kit on it. It's how far can you go on that, on that battery? How accessible are these attempts? And can you have a big adventure on something like this? So I've just started out at the moment. I'm on uh, reasonably easy section it's nice and flat following one of the sus trans routes so it's a good time to sort of give a bit of information about the bike uh, this has a shimano steps e7000 motor it's got eco trail and boost and i'm going to be realistic so most of the time i'm going to keep it in eco but at the same time i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tend to cheat on this I'm not going to turn it off for the whole thing and just try and get through it for the sake of it. But we genuinely want to see how far you can push these bikes. So I'm used to doing bigger distances and adventure rides like this without an e-bike. And it's more about comparing what they are like compared to this. So far, all is good. But I say this is the easy bit. I know it'll do this. Later on, we get to the Cambrian Mountains and the Brecon Beacons, and uh, yeah, will it will it get the distance? So first stop, this is Cors Caron. It's near the town of Tregaron. Little nature reserve. I cycle through. Done 30 kilometres. Been an hour and a half so far. That section, it's really seen it really nice, but realistically, that's the easiest bit so far. Uh, so yeah, 30 kilometers and range now it's showing as 100 kilometers left. So I've managed to, to get back 20 kilometers, but we've still got 160 kilometers to go and 2,800 meters of climbing. So yeah, it's, it's all to play for now, see how it's gonna go. And to be honest, now is where the really challenging riding starts. Christy Gumry, welcome to Wales. Typically Welsh weather now. This is or was the most remote phone box in the whole of the UK, miles from anywhere really. I have now done 50 kilometres. We are two two hours 45 minutes, and I don't know somehow the range on this now is showing 118 kilometres. So somehow it's gone up looking forward to this next section it should be the most scenic bit of the of the whole ride and the weather's improving as well so hopefully it's going to stop raining so i've made it to the town of Llandevery. uh first update i guess is it stopped raining uh, which is which is really nice and on the route this is just under halfway so we've done 85 kilometers got another 95 i think to go so and how we're looking we have got range on the battery now is saying 78 kilometers my heart rate on the climbs it's sort of 120 um, just sort of spinning going up not taking too much effort i think my maximum heart rate i've seen is 140 and normally in a race or in a situation like this, I'd be touching 160, 170. The town here in Llandevery is in the county of Carmarthenshire and the county is starting to do something 
which I think might be the future of, of cycling, is they're going to be putting in mobile e-bike charging stations. I guess this is proof of how easy I'm taking it. This is a, I think 15, 16% climb and I'm not out of breath. <laughs> One thing I'm loving at the moment is just how peaceful and quiet it is. Just can't hear anything. There's no cars, there's nobody else. It's just the birds and some sheep and just surrounded by amazing hills and right in the heart of the Brecon Beacons here. Just heading along this old Roman road. That's another big climb ticked off and we'll soon be starting the next one. I'm showing three out of five bars left on the battery, so still really impressive. And I think for the first time now, I'm really starting to believe that it's gonna do it. So we're now on the Rigos mountain. So we're starting to get into the heart of South Wales, still just about in the Brecon Beacons, right on the edge, heading south. The weather has really improved. So the sun's out, as you can see, and it's magic. So I say this is the last big climb, and it is a big climb. It's one of the highest road peaks in South Wales. It goes up over 500 meters. If I can make it to the top of this, although there's still a big distance to go, this is the last really big climb. So now we are at the top of the Rigos mountain. 143 kilometers done, 2,760 meters. That's probably the last really big climb, but I've still got 600 meters of climbing, still got 50 kilometers to do, and the range is showing 30 Ks left. So it's gonna to be touch and go whether I make it, but I gotta say the sun's out now, I'm starting to enjoy it. One thing I've gotta say is riding along, I'm, and I've done these roads before, but I'm taking so much more in. Just seeing on nature, seeing the birds, hearing a cuckoo, just calling now. And it's just things that if I was doing this on, on a normal unassisted bike, I don't think I'd be taking as much in and wouldn't be enjoying it quite as much. So I've got 25 k's to go, and maybe I was a little complacent earlier, because now it's got range 10 kilometers left. So I'm still under. I was expecting to have passed and uh, be ahead of the range by now, but I'm not. So this is gonna be tight. <laughs> made it so we're in Cardiff it's Cardiff Bay I think you know it's absolutely amazing uh, coast to coast Aberystwyth with the Cardiff total distance 191.2 kilometers total climbing 3,100 meters of climbing on an e-bike a single battery no recharge it's just absolutely well, I'm just my mind's blown it's fantastic if you'd asked me before what is was it possible I don't think you know truly realistically I didn't think I'd get all this way. What's made this so special is just how different this has felt. So if I was on a normal bike, I would have got to the finish here and I would have been, well, you know, really tired. It's a big day out, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. I certainly don't feel as if I've ridden 191 kilometers. So just looking at uh, some of the stats that I've got here on the computer that I've been carrying. So I was wearing a heart rate monitor and my average heart rate is 113 beats per minute. Uh, 
you know, that's, that's over a le almost 11 hours of riding and I've kept it that low the whole time. Max has just touched 153. That's a big thing that I'm really surprised about. Covering that much distance, you see the route in such a different way. It makes things more accessible. It makes places you can go and things that you can see and also the way that you see it and just being able to take take in the views take in your surroundings and just really enjoy that the, the whole adventure and the whole ride that uh, that you're going through so i think in terms of the bike i mean obviously it's a big day and the key thing has been having a big battery you know this this brave has got 630 watt hour battery and that's been absolutely crucial to the uh, to the ride but that said like the other parts on it they're absolutely fine it's the gears shift well the brakes break well everything's been really good like i've had quite a bit of technical riding in places and having these larger tires has really made made a difference and made it more manageable on that big wide flat bars have made it really comfortable hopefully the the route and the adventure has inspired people to do something similar we'll put a link to the Kamut profile below and uh, yeah thanks again